and he won't let us down. In fact, he said he's totally dedicated to Ipswich Town Football Club this season. He wants us to get promotion. That's his aim. That's his full focus. And although Jamaica have come calling again, his father was born in Jamaica and England. He's played for England's under-17s and under-20s. He has said, no, I want to focus all my energy on Ipswich Town and trying to get them promoted, which is a wonderful thing. So he may have come a little bit lately, but he's doing greatly. And somebody else is doing greatly is Mark Ost. I think his name is Mark Ost, O-S-T. He's a new subscriber. Welcome on board, Mark Ost. And I always like to give an honourable mention to any new subscribers. I think it's only fair because without you, we're nothing. And if for some reason we've neglected to mention you along the way and you want an honourable mention, then please inform me via the comments. And also via the comments, tell me what you thought about Ipswich's under-21 team today who beat Bournemouth 4-2, but it wasn't plain sailing all the way, although Ipswich had a two-goal lead thanks to Leon Ayinda. Uh, two good goals uh, taken there. But then Dan O'Connor gave uh, an own goal away and then Landers scored a great goal for Bournemouth and it was only in the last 10 minutes that Ipswich managed to turn it around again thanks to Tommy Taylor, who is a bit like George Hurst in his mannerisms. He's a number nine centre forward. He's been with the town since he was 10 years of age and uh, he scored a good goal. And then we got a, a, a final goal from a centre back who's about six foot ten or something. Jacob Mezione scored uh, with a header, which is um, to be expected. The under twenty one ones are coached by John McGreal, of course, ex uh, Ipswich defender, and another ex Ipswich defender in David Wright. So it was a good win in the end for Town, and it was a good game to watch as a neutral. And if you were a town supporter, there was nothing to get too nervous about, let's be honest. But anyway, um, they're now up to fourth, I think, in, in their, their uh, league table. And the other little bit of news that I wanted to mention today is the town's home game with Middlesbrough on Saturday, the 13th of April. That's a game that we're going to, has been named as the club's annual foundation fixture. So there'll be lots of those charity boxes uh, around the ground and at the fan zone. And it's a fundraising event, of course, with lots of opportunities to donate. And uh, that is good news. We'll be able to do a little bit of donating and we're there, I'm sure. And uh, no news, I'm afraid, on Wes Burns at the moment. And no news on Connor Chaplin. Is no news good news? We'll just have to wait and see. I might even contact them all and see if he has any inside information on that. It's normally about transfer details, but occasionally he'll give me other bits of news on the Ipswich Town front. We'll leave you here for now. And what we say, darling? Up and down. Up and down.